Family says they're one step closer to feeling closure after their daughter's remains were found. It's been two years since she went missing in the Low Country. Brianna Smith's been digging into this case since the news broke this morning. She is joining us now here in the studio with the very latest on this case. It's a kind of a shocking discovery, Brianna. Yeah, Gordon, I've been in constant contact with our reporters covering the area where Nicole Goodlett's remains were found. The discovery was made right next to an elementary school by a hunter and just miles from the home of the suspect's family. Who deputies have been looking at since the very day she went missing. Today, officers from Spartanburg County scoured fields in the Low Country for additional remains of Nicole Goodlett. The investigation, though, brought us right back here to the home on Loblolly Drive in Spartanburg County, where Goodlett went missing two years ago. The last known person to see her being Gerald Howard. So he says that she just said, I gotta go. See ya. Yes. That there was people coming after her. For two years, Howard has remained the prime person of interest in the case, being arrested for obstructing justice, hiding her cell phone in his underwear, but never being arrested for her actual disappearance. The investigation today following Howard down to Berkeley County. Goodlett's remains being found within miles of the home he lived in. We found some remains pretty close to where he lives. So that's a piece of circumstantial evidence. That's a pretty bad fact. But that bad fact doesn't mean an arrest. Deputies noting now that they have remains, they hope to close the case. You've got a lot of pieces of the puzzle that you're trying to bring together. And if those pieces point to a charge for Howard, his lawyer says it will prove his side of the story. So you believe your client is innocent? Oh, I can't say that. I'm not going to, I'm never going to say the fact that somebody is, is completely innocent. Mr. Howard has said that he's had nothing to do with uh, the disappearance of Ms. Goodlett. So far, there have been no obvious signs of trauma to the bones that have been recovered, but hope remains the deputies can solve the case. Which makes us want to work even harder to bring them some closure. This family is really hurting today. I've reached out to a lot of them. Of course, they released a statement saying they're hoping that they find the ultimate closure, which is who killed her. I got to imagine being in your position, you're interviewing this guy's defense lawyer. Mm -hmm. And you ask him, do you think your client's innocent? He says, I don't know if I can say that. That's kind of a shocking thing to hear him say. And I was shocked even when he said the bad fact. Um, and I asked him directly if he would be willing to let his client sit down with deputies again and be re-interviewed now that there's a ton of new evidence in the case. He said, absolutely. We have nothing to hide. Mr. Uh, Howard can go ahead and speak with deputies. And uh, we hope that he will. And we hope that there's closure in this case, of course. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, Brianna. Brianna. Thank you.